<laughs> you guys don't know why Frost's song blew up. People in Czech Republic thought he was talking about vagina. <laughs> What did you take away from Look, that? I don't want to say anything controversial. Some of the things are still co- going on. Some oh, things are yeah. still going on. So Lawsuits. No, 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 no. <laughs> no laws. Okay. So what every single algorithm wants, no matter what platform it is, all of them, it wants people to stay on the platform. Okay. So if you help keep people on the platform, it will give you what you want. It will give you growth. It will give you engagement. It will give you reach. All of those things. Mm. So... Let's go to Instagram. Mm. Instagram wants to keep people on the platform. So if you create content that keeps people interested, mm. keeps people watching, keep make someone save so that they can come back. Yeah, come later. Yeah. Make someone share so that now there's more than one person looking at this thing. Yeah. If you can create that content, then the algorithm will reward you. <laughs> Different identities. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Another episode of the Podcast right here on YouTube on the Local Corner Multimedia page. Thank you so, so much for joining us. I'm your host with the most, S-C-A-R. And uh, yeah, man, we, we keep moving on. And uh, today, yeah, no, I know, I haven't been nervous about an interview in so long because I... You don't usually see two laptops on this table. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? You know, so <laughs> I don't even know what's about to happen either. So, yeah, in the house, we're joined by a homie that I have so much respect for. You know, like when you, you see a guy who's like, just cool, just does cool shit, minds his own business. But in some way, he's very, very effective in what he does. And at the same time, it's like the road less traveled, which is what we pride ourselves in uh, putting a spotlight on right here, Mopuri Casting, that like people like that, you don't see that far in between. And most of those people never really follow up on what it is that they're really passionate about. And this is a guy who's really sticking to it. I mean, this homie, he has a photography company, I think. Yeah, digit, you are a graphic designer. You now you are you put chef in there. <laughs> I saw you on a video. Yeah, a hip hop artist. Yeah, like that in one. We go block nine. Yeah, so what are we put rapper in there, ladies and gentlemen? Content creator and foodie in Botswana, Mr. Kenneth Tibo Middleton. Welcome to the podcast, Papa. Thank you so much. Man. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What an intro, man. Fuck. No, 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 no. I, I had to give the whole spiel because like. You know, you you keep to yourself. You keep like a low profile unless when we see you on the socials. And even when I don't, do you Google yourself? Yes, I do. Uh, Not like that. No, Google yourself like I that. Do but like Google yourself. I do because I'm trying <laughs> to get verified. <laughs> and so to get verified, I need to know what people are writing about me. And just to, you know, I, I have to try and get more articles on there because yeah. sometimes it's not so much relevant stuff. So yeah. I have to work on getting the best Google the first page, you know what I mean? So I work on that. I'm yeah, trying. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I really like that because like at the same time, it freaked me out when I got on there and then Ken Middleton is like some other guy <laughs> who was convicted and yeah. then he survived 30 years in jail and then he came out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, does that affect you in any way? Because like when I went to Kenneth Milton, I'm like, oh, when you can do all this shit. I'll tell you how it affects me. <laughs> so, yeah. I Google myself. Yeah. So I, I Google myself, Kenneth Middleton, and I see all that stuff that you saw. So what I've done is I go by Kenneth Taboho Middleton hey. so that I can separate myself from that guy. If you Google <laughs> Kenneth, <laughs> if you Google Kenneth Taboho Middleton, it's just my stuff. It's just your stuff. Yeah, so I have to keep it that way because uh, unless I would ever become bigger than that guy get more yeah, news than that guy yeah. yeah it seems like it's one of those stories dealing what i think it's it's those stories the guys have after the years and what are it keeps recurring so for those who want to hear well check out anything <laughs> about um about kind of put the table in there and then you get everything that there is to know about the homie um i'm looking at your numbers here as far as social media is concerned because we have you here under very different hats um because the day I just wanted to hang out with you. Well, but yeah. It wasn't really anything. I just wanted to yeah. hang out with you and pick your brain. You have 161,000 followers on Instagram. 
are you a slay queen, bro? <laughs> How did you get 161? I just want to start there because that's impressive. Okay. Hey, for someone who's not like over the top, why, why do you think so many people are interested in like your IG? Um, well, I've studied Instagram. Well, <laughs> I think I've studied Instagram more than any other social media platform. I, I've figured out ways to, you know, get people to follow you, mm. and, but also just the, to have a philosophy. Yeah. My philosophy is to provide value. Okay. And so, you know, when you study these things, you figure out uh, that there's different ways of going about it. And, mm. um, you know, I'm looking at the old guard, the people who came before me and how they're doing their social media. Mm -hmm. And so if I can provide a difference, mm -hmm. then I can, you know, get a leg up on them. I'm trying to jump as fast as possible, man. But you're I'm moving, though. Yeah. Uh, like these numbers are, are really, really impressive. I, I just don't want to stick on that. I mean, you know, we, we, TikTok is 130, <laughs> 137,000 followers on TikTok. Yeah. Um, never mind the 270,000 members of Foodies, which is, um, you know. 301 now. 301 now. Yeah, yeah. So, like, your, your growth on these social media platforms is very exponential. And we'll, we'll really get into that because, like I said, you wear very many different hats. Um, I, I just want to start with a guy like you. I mean, where did you grow up and <laughs> where were you born? Um, so I was born in Molapolole. I didn't know for real. <laughs> you didn't for know real, for, real? for real? I knew a little bit. I thought I'd, I saw some Kuena there, but like I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know for real. Well, okay, okay. So anyway, and then from there, moved to Maung. Okay. So I grew up... Uh, Quite a lot in Maung, okay. and then later Gabs, and then yeah, here I am. So with, with all of this going on, um, do you know what you want to be? Because one of the the, the, the main um, theme in in this conversation with us is like how you are able to like become so many different people in one lifetime. Dude, you're not even gray yet, you know. So I, I want to understand like. <laughs> What goes into like your head when you know all all like the and looking back all about back how you came up and how it became the guy that you are now how mm -hmm. did that molded the guy that you are right now? Well, uh, I feel like I'm a bit all over the place, eh. um, but you know I do know where I'm trying to go. But I mean I'm always interested by different things, mm. and I I know I know I choose weird things to do. <laughs> I don't do, you know, the normal stuff. It's too boring. I yeah. want some excitement. I want interesting stuff. I want yeah. to be different. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I want to be a content creator right now. Mm -hmm. And um, content creation can be so many different things. I mean, mm. you can create from th from this on that. Now, it's cooking. Mm. So, with cooking is what I'm going to use to go where I want to go. Definitely. Um, before we get to the cooking, um, uh, something that I think a lot of people bypass when it comes to you is um, the, the traditional uh, games thing. You know, you are actually the president of the Botswana Traditional Sports and Games Confederation. You coined that term. Uh, which term? The Botswana Traditional Sports and Games Confederation. Yes, with the confederation. But with the confederation, okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's big. It's How like, does this work? What do you mean? Your ne Botswana traditional sports. It's I an, didn't know about it's, it until it's, it's, it's you an were association. Doing it. Okay. So you have to go to the register of societies, mm -hmm. and you have to register the association, and there's requirements. You have to have twenty five people at the first meeting, and I've forgotten <laughs> all of them. But it's big. You have, and then you have to elect secretary general, all that stuff, and then uh, we ended up. Uh, affiliating with the BNSC, mm -hmm. which was a good part because we managed to, you know, get a grant. Okay. Um, but things moved slowly. You got the bag? Well, kind of. Eh. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, COVID slowed us down so much. Eh. And, um, and and I've kind of, my pa I grew a new passion since I was, you know, at the height of being the president of the Traditional Games Association. You guys went to Kazakhstan, I get it. Yeah, I went to Kazakhstan. You went yes. to Kazakhstan. You know why? I, I no, not Kazakhstan. Uh, Turkey. Turkey. Yeah. I, w I want to understand that because like at the same time, how are you moving around all of these things? What were you going through when you saw Nele, mm. Morabaraba, Boseifi? Yeah. I mean, come on, dog. <laughs> what hits you in that moment for you to be able to get into a whole society that ultimately takes a bunch of Botswana out to Turkey to go and play our traditional games? 
Okay, so we we haven't actually had a team yet. Okay. Um, but back to your question. So like, I'm I'm always looking for creative things to do, mm-hmm. and it just so happens that one day some homie of mine said, "There is no." documentation on traditional games our traditional games yeah. and so that's when a light goes on in my head yeah. like this is an opportunity for me so we started out by writing a book okay which is uh, my first publication uh, what's the name it's Hamiko Yasetso how to play what's on as traditional games okay so we published that so long ago i can't even remember the date when yeah. we did but anyway it's a it was a lovely project i loved it to bits it took up all my time <laughs> um and we published it uh, self published it mm-hmm. and then from there now we're starting to look around what can go an ecosystem that can go around the book yeah, yeah. so we you know started developing games ourselves because mm-hmm. we started when we wanted to make a launch we thought we should have gifts mm-hmm. and they should be traditional games so we had to produce traditional games for our launch mm-hmm. but then during the process of creating the gifts for the launch another opportunity came mm-hmm. we can sell these things mm-hmm. you know what i mean and so we're selling the book we're selling the games and now because we have the games mm-hmm. we're accumulating more games and we're renting them out so that's a whole traditional games business that i run okay where we sell the book we have uh games that we sell yeah. especially mihila we pr- we produce mihila ourselves is mihila the easiest one like to play because like i saw there was a list uh-huh. um there's other uh, games city so up north uh-huh. there was one with an x in it i'm not about to do that to myself uh-huh. <laughs> so but w- w- do you, can you mention some of the games um hey i have forgotten i've been i've been sort of you do distance. everything i've been distanced from traditional games for yeah. quite some time this yeah. new thing the cooking thing mm. is taking me away from traditional ex- apart from the fact that i'm running a business yeah and uh, i mean even today we're taking orders we're renting out our games all that stuff because this was the, uh, uh, this was, is an amazing amazing idea because first of all some of us played them and whatever and i think this can resonate with a whole lot of people who grew up well the way that some of us grew up and whatever and you get to play these things when i saw someone try to package them mm-hmm. you have to understand how that blew me away really? you know and the very fact that you know it, it wasn't stopping only at that now we're trying to play with other countries in in, in other parts um was there support for, for for something like that because like we hear all of this talk about like supporting th- things that are indigenous to botswana i mean they're trying to sell botswana mm-hmm. what better way than to sell botswana with what the people of Botswana enjoy. Mm. So I'm trying to figure out like were you getting any type of support? Um so I won't lie, we've been getting a lot of support. Mm-hmm. So apart from the, the the company that I'm running, mm-hmm. now I went into the associations because that's the only way to really get into um you know uh BNSC and the Ministry of of Education mm-hmm. uh, y- youth sports and culture yep. they would rather work with uh associations mm-hmm. and so we started our own it was called Sitso Games but then uh, Sitso Games Sitso Games Association yeah. yes and the company is also called Sitso Games mm-hmm. so anyway yep. so now they wanted us to partner with other associations around the country that were doing something similar to what we were doing but they doing How do you find them? Uh, well, they had a list. Eh, hey, okay. They had a list. Okay. And also, I mean, I'm I I researched my competitors. So hey. I've I've got a, I've got my list too. So there's a whole underground game network going on here. <laughs> yeah, sort of, sort of. So there's people who are interested in traditional games and they're running tournaments and what not and That's dope. Yeah, so that's, really that's dope. we partnered with all of them to come together and form the confederation. That's what hey. confederation means. Hey. It's a bunch of associations coming together. Okay. And so then we affiliated with the BNSC and we got grants from government. So that's mm-hmm. why I can say they really do support this and even the the current government has been pushing a lot to, you know, get us to move but our association uh, hasn't really managed to do as much and i'm saying more than i really should <laughs> <laughs> no well, i just I, i just thought it was one of the coolest things ever i mean, i was just in kasani and we, we, what we realized is that like hey man apart from the abject poverty mm. that you see but but to habasha what if we're not just selling wildlife you know 
you don't even know if you're gonna see an animal for sure you yeah. know so what if we started selling like this you know indigenous games these these things it looked like something that i thought my nigga had hit gold <laughs> so i was thinking like either way for the culture and for you also i was thinking that like it was something that people would gravitate to and run with a whole lot did you, did you see did you see any love from from Botswana also trying to gravitate towards the, like definitely something sailing sabo definitely yeah. i mean when we have a tournament we see it when we put out our products we see it there's love it's mm. just um on our side there's a lot to do yeah and um you know we've still got a long way to go yeah. i mean associations for me are very difficult having to work with so many different types of people mm. and you don't know everybody so well and so you know it's 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 tricky yeah. running an association full of different people and trying to Give achieve us some a insight, goal. because like a lot of us want to grow mm. um especially any young person who's watching something like this and wants to 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 grow the idea and you have to work with people mm. trust me i'm not the easiest nigga to work with you know but like <laughs> at the same time i learned that you know yeah i i i have to you know talk to someone and and work with other people what were your takeaways from your 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 experiences with with Botswana you know with our own organizations there and there what did you take away from Look, that i don't want to say anything controversial some of the things are still co- going on some oh, things are yeah. still going on so lawsuits no 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 <laughs> no lawsuits all right no i mean just the fact that we haven't lived up to our potential mm-hmm. in the traditional games space yeah i mean in the association space the sports space the recreation space yeah that fits under you know these sports national sports bodies we haven't done as but much as we should have yeah, yeah, yeah. so i don't really want to put i don't want to throw anyone under the bus there Just but oh. but Swana love it uh people love it and and i'm sure people are making money off it it's just mm. structure organization strategy and sticking to it because by now um we sh- we should have a a national tournament mm-hmm. or a national festival at least if yeah. it's not compu- completely competitive yeah. at least there should be a, a recreational side of it but yeah. mihele is is competitive yeah, yeah, playing yeah. that thing what's that yeah yeah they play <laughs> that thing in south africa what a pair <laughs> there are national teams for that thing and yeah. so um we would have loved by now and i'm sure we will mm. i'm sure we will just give us a bit more time awesome stuff pa um i i, I want to get well digress a little bit the f- the first time that i really got to meet you for real for real i think was when we were doing mm-hmm. scar versus zeus you think i i got the question right it will we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there no but c- carry on carry on yeah carry so on. you were doing the artwork for that if you haven't seen the artwork for sky versus zeus i don't know man like that was dope 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 it was like yeah. a mortal combat type thing that you had set up there Yes sir. What phase of your life were you in that one? <laughs> that was me the graphic designer and and that was the aesthetic. I was looking for a a Mortal Kombat combat screen, you know when you're playing the it game. It was exactly that. I saw my face in like a Mortal Kombat <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I I had started playing with Photoshop by that time and so mm. I was just, you know, getting into that thing and then I started drawing people out. So uh so yeah, that was my chance to make this artwork for two of the biggest <laughs> hip hop artists two wow. of the biggest hip hop artists in the country so no I, I absolutely love that I, I, i'm so proud of it myself are you technically like trained as far as like artwork because it's like a little cheat code that you got going on in your pages you mm. know how to make graphics so That's are you like a technically trained person or did you teach yourself all that this stuff that is more or less my profession mm-hmm. uh i you went mean, to school for the stuff yeah yeah where did you go to school in South Africa but after after UB you see you went to Basco first yeah, what first did you, you do in Basco, Basco. So, eh. so 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 now now it's time eh. do you, uh, where we really really met for the first time so obviously you don't remember so here it is i was famous already so here it is I'm, 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 i i don't think you were famous by then okay way. papa tell All me right. what so, happened so uh, i'm a, i'm a young cat in UB i think it's first year or second year early second year whatever eh. and then You know, we want to go hang out with the cool guys. Oh god. So there's a, a a huge tree in the middle of UB and then there's a a bench, concrete benches, two of them facing yeah. each other. And guys come sit there and do whatever they do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So one day I went to sit over there and 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 you were there. Yes sir. 
and and you so it's a bit hazy because it's a very long time ago er, you know what i mean er. so i want you to help me fill in this uh, a few a few parts in there right whatever i can remember no don't worry, don't er, worry, don't worry. whatever i can remember so, don't worry don't worry so yes, anyway sir. you you had come from a test eh. okay and you had your test paper with you right why would i have that thing hey, no you eh. had just come from a test yes, sir. so that this little pass i can't really is hazy yes sir but i mean you were you were definitely not happy er. with 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 what was happening in the test and all that and to me it looked like there were rhymes er. on the test paper so uh, is is am, am i am i filling no, in some no. stuff that were not for real okay let me tell you something about mm. ub and me having to sit through two hour exams where i didn't know shit mm. there were times like today we just came back from Kasane like I'm saying and imagine you come back from like a show and whatever and then you come straight to like an economics mathematics test so you were doing shows? I was writing sh- well a couple Mampizi was already blown up I guess by that time but I was writing I just didn't want to leave the exam early there's nothing more frustrating and I can imagine if there's anyone out there who has to sit through an exam and you can see that you are failing I was like I can get some bars out of this shit You so it's, so it's possibly it's pos- true. It's tr- it's possibly true. I used okay. to write rhymes during some of my exams because I knew I was I felt like I was wasting my time, man. Yeah. Mm, I was I was wasting my time. Basco Basco was an interesting uh, time for, for for most of us. I mean, you you actually work with someone you went to UB with. Um Tabi Somashaba who old uh, these hands. How how do you relate with that? Like how are you associated with these hands? And shout out to Tabi so man. Yeah, these hands uh, is a brainchild of uh, one of my best friend. Yeah, yeah, and so we formed a, a working relationship. Apart from being friends, we, yeah, worked, yeah, yeah. we formed a good working relationship, where he's got a, a role and he knows, you know, I've got a role, and so he he knows how to put us together yeah, yeah. to make it work. You know what I mean? Uh, but seeing you that day, <laughs> back to that. No, d- d- allow me, please. Because it was, it was, it was, it, it some the fact that I remember I, it means I, I, something. It blows my mind that you do. Yeah. So I ended up dropping out of. Ah, UB. come on! You want to blame me for this? No, shit? I don't. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I just feel a like a lot of people do. I feel a lot of us end up in tertiary without an idea of where we're going. Yeah. And that was me. Yeah. And so I saw someone else that might have been in the same situation, but I had it hadn't clicked in my mind yet. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think I quit uh, two years later, yeah. something like that. But just to see, or okay, if, <laughs> if I was not happy with what I'm doing, yeah, um, then maybe you know to see someone else going through the same thing, it just you know it said told me it's okay. Yes, sir. You, you're not you're not weird for that. Yeah. You know no, I, mean? I really appreciate that, dog. Like at least the. You, I didn't break my mom's heart for nothing. <laughs> There's some, you know, some brothers out here who actually saw that as 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 a calling card, so like something that they can do as well. Um, I, I want to ask about the photography business as well. I don't know how deep you went into that. Uh, yeah. So, so the photography business, it's not really a business. Hey. It has uh, a Facebook page. It has a Facebook page. <laughs> so I, I have thousands of Facebook pages. Uh, you know, after after being a graphic designer working in the industry at these agencies, I I saw them, you know, doing advertising, and I was like, okay, these they have billboards, they have this, they have that. I'm gonna make my own billboard. Yeah. So I went on Facebook and I opened thousands of pages. I've got thousands. <laughs> <laughs> I've got thousands of pages and so I obviously I can't keep up with the content. One hey. of them was so it just meant it was for me which one will work. So I'm really honest this is that's after 2009 I guess that's when Facebook was becoming a whole thing. Yeah. So when did you think like this could be something that's the future? Uh not too long ago. Uh late to the party, mm. but but just recognizing that look, I can I if I if I make these pages probably they could mean something in a little while you know who this story sounds like also who cut the man this bartlett guy if you um, say that's the guy man uh, steven bartlett that's the my guy the diary of a ceo that's my guy i studied that guy he gave me the inspiration i recently saw your an episode i think where he was talking like him and a friend they set up these um facebook accounts and then ultimately they those guys even did they have a strategy called the thunderclap so hey. they've got thousands of pages they can make something trend 
mm. because they have thousands of pages, but they're doing it on Twitter. Eh. Yeah, whereby they 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 can choose a topic eh. and say, look, if we we create different types of contents in different angles across different pages, sports, eh. fashion, uh, food, eh. stu- student student problems, problems, yeah, which was their first page eh. and how they figured out how to do this whole thing. So I'm studying these guys. Eh. And so now I'm like, okay, I'm going to make my own pages. So mm. I made thousands of pages. The photography page is one of them because <laughs> I had bought a camera and now I'm into <laughs> photography. <laughs> <I'm> a <photographer>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was... Uh, Funny uh, enough, mm. these niggas. Yeah. I met them when I think they, it was Saul and, and Law. And, well, it was Saul first. They had cameras. Law came later. Yeah, and I, well, he introduced him to me later. But like, they And uh. all I remember is them having like one camera. Yeah. Look. Look, I've been tell I've been telling them that I would love to have this this setup that they have here because mm. I'm using some 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 low low We're end, gonna get into entry that. level entry yeah, level it's still stuff. Dope as hell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, so I've I've studied photography. I mean, mm. like, okay, outside what I've done outside of school has meant more. But I went to photography classes uh-huh. at, uh, in South Africa, so it's part of the graphic design course. Okay. As a graphic designer, you should be able to use several tools to you know. Create Get good, good communications. Yes. yes. All right. Um, so we're going to go to foodies because I think everyone who's watching this show is about to beat me. You mm-hmm. know, when did you set up the foodies uh, account? So um, so there's two stories to the foodies mm. uh, thing. Like I just told you now, I've been setting up pages. Yeah. Setting them up. Yeah. Um, and then comes the idea to set up groups which have a slightly different dynamic, which yeah. Stephen Bartlett didn't go into. Mm. So now uh, it's about community management. Yeah. But nonetheless, at the same time... Because this is not followers, this is members. Yes. 301,000 members. Yes, that group is not about me. It's about the community. Okay. I just happen to be the community manager yeah. because I started it. I fumbled upon it mm. because I'm opening up these pages. I opened yeah. a food page, this page, that page. And then we're like, okay, each page needs a group. Yeah. So we opened the a food group because I'm also looking at the food that I'm eating. I'm so bored yeah. that I can count with, my, with one hand the yeah. things that... I'm eating yeah, like yeah, the yeah. starches, you know, rice, macaroni, pop. Salad, yeah, no. yeah. So I, it mm. just became way too boring for me. And I know there's more to this than meets the eye than mm. I'm seeing. So I'm like, okay, I'm searching the internet. I'm learning about how to make different stuff. Yeah. And so if I'm making a new dish, how am I going to get the feedback I need to improve my, my, my wherever I am. Hey, just to get someone will order like some response. Yeah, yeah so hey. I can get response from my family. That'll be is, nice to you. Is it enough? <laughs> no. Is, is it, is it going to be, you know, what I need? Yeah. And then there's, there's, there's family, uh, extended family, there's friends. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the, so that's how the group started. Mm-hmm. Friends, family, and then it just kept growing because I, need, I wanted feedback for my stuff. Hey. And it just so happens that Everybody, or a lot of people are experiencing the same thing. Where yeah. They also would like, so why would you post your, your food on to uh, social, media. F- social media? Because you, you'd like some feedback. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're good, you'd like to know, okay, for sure, for sure, I got it. Just be. Or, or, or okay, uh, there's a few skills that someone else, s- tips that someone else can give you. Yeah. Or, and then it goes down to like just asking where can I find caviar yeah. in, in Habibu? Yeah, where can I find caviar? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I realize that's what the community yeah, is about. Think, that they, yeah, yeah, they help yeah. each, No, for real, I really want, I want to know where it's at and how much it is. You know what I mean? But like, so that's how it started. It was just about you having conversations with the community that you built. Yeah, and it started really small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it just started growing. And then the, the lockdown came. Oof. And when the lockdown came, everybody has nothing to do, and there's a kitchen right there, so cooking was going on, and mm. so a lot of people were posting, um, you know, food into the group. It became, it, its usefulness, its meaningfulness really showed during that during time. COVID. Yeah, before then, it might have been, yeah, maybe, but after that, we were certain that this is something which is very useful. I think I became a member during COVID. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not sure when I, because I used to see it. 
but you know, not mm. paying too much mind to it. Mm. But for some reason, it started popping up some more. Started popping up some more. Started popping up some more. And then, like, I started respecting it because, like, Lynn, mm. I'm not the best cook ever. I want to learn. So I started realizing, like, the community was becoming bad to sign. And I see how, like, how you guide them as well. It's like this is not a space where you're gonna disrespect other people. It's about building each other up, you know, which is what was really dope. Also, you know, you were actually hands on about it. Um, I, 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 I want to ask you about how you realize, like, this is something now that you need to hone into a bit more than you were doing with other things. Because everything from the, like I said, you started paying attention to who's posting what and don't be, don't be rude. Don't be talking nonsense. The artwork started popping up. Uh. Now we're seeing endorsements, which is a bit later on. Uh. When did you realize, like, yo, something might be happening here? Uh. So um, out of the thousands of pages that I have <laughs> started, <laughs> all, all the thousands of pages, um, this is more or less the only one that worked. Mm. Okay, there's another one which was a political thing called the Independent Zebra. What were you trying to Oh, I remember the Independent Zebra. Nobody knows it's me, but it's me. <laughs> it's me. It was you. Yeah, yeah. It's me. And th and that was the first page I managed to get up to 60,000 followers. I remember the independence zebra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it was faceless, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so with this one the group uh, I realized that it was it was it was something when um first of all when I when I saw the usefulness of it. Mm -hmm. That was the first step. Second step is where we 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 had uh, a challenge. I launched a challenge. I just created this thing. I was like, okay, tinned fish challenge. Mm. And then I made it look like a brand, but I couldn't brand it because mm. I don't have any deals with the brand. Mm. And so we're just challenging people in the group, create, because I was trying to say, what, what kind of competition can we have where I don't have to meet you? Mm. It's, it has to be as easy as possible. Yeah, the yeah. easiest thing ever. To put your entry in. Yeah. 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 So we created the, the challenge. And then when the challenge popped off, and then we did a second one and a third one. Now, as a, uh, coming from you know graphic design, marketing, yeah. a marketing background, I could see the potential that others would want to uh, have a, a place. Yeah. In, yeah, and so it started to make sense. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now we've had Lucky Star. First, we <laughs> we made a non-official Lucky Star challenge, and yeah. then now Lucky Star has worked with I us. I remember when you did the non-official one, yeah. and then kind of you know I be like celebrating your wings like that, mine <laughs> and shit. And then when I realized like Lucky Star is on, yeah. I was like, Shit. yeah. So yeah. For anyone who, because like I'm thinking like these aligned really, really well for you. I don't know or something. <laughs> it's like, all right, here you are with all of these backgrounds. You worked at ad agencies. Yeah, yeah. Right, can I delve into that a little bit? Like, what were you doing out there? Were you doing just graphics or were you also in like, how do we sell these products to Botswana? Is that also like how you caught like a niche for how you can ultimately get endorsements and you know what the client wants and you know what the consumer, mm. you know, the end mm. user wants mm. as well. Mm. So I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in, a, in a marketing agency, but I'm, I'm a designer. So yeah. I've got a little corner where I sit. Yeah. I've got a 27-inch Mac and I sit there and then I'm, I'm surrounded by guys like me. That's our room. Yeah. We design stuff. Things come in, briefs come in and we design stuff. But I'm more interested in other things as well. So yeah. I'm, I'm interested in their social media, mm. our company's social media. Yeah. I'm interested in, you know, adverts, the, yeah. the communication, the f human uh, psychology and how it applies to the work that we're doing. Mm. I, didn't, I didn't want to just, uh, just design because I knew yeah. I wasn't going to be the best designer. Chops, <laughs> Chops was the best designer. May he soul rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Chops. Yeah. Yes, dude. But yeah. like, Okay, with these agencies, I'm, I have a big beef with agencies. Yeah. And I'm sure you've realized on my social media. How now? Um, with, with, with how are they the middlemen in this shit? Why are we giving them retainer fees and then ultimately they d just copy what the, the, the bigger company says from, you know, our multimedia, um, like companies, Mobile not multimedia, um, our. Cell phone companies, some mm. of them okay. have advertising agencies because ba 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 based from outside of Botswana, some of these ads come and they're just translated through the agency and then resold to Botswana. Mm -hmm. um, why do you think do you, do you think 
that advertising agencies do any any good as far as like the ecosystem, your know, advertising and how advertising money moves in Botswana? They definitely do some sort of good. I mean, but you're speaking because as, my a, as question an artist. Is a bit you're, you're speaking up. as an artist, right? Too, though. You're speaking as an artist who has had as an artist and also as a broadcaster and also yeah. as someone who's worked at an advertising agency. Okay. What is their use? Well, why do you have a marketing well, office and they, then you have an ad agency? They 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 provide some sort of um, some sort of uh, consistent, some sort of uh, what's the word? I can't find the word, but you'd be sure that they will handle this business for you. So there's there's um, I have worked on a couple of those campaigns that you're talking about, yeah. but only as a graphic designer. Yeah. But looking outside, I can see that this advertising agency, if it wasn't so reliable, that's the word I was looking yeah, for. Liable. There's a reliability that they provide clients that is unmatched because they are a working machine yeah. and a proven machine. So yeah. when you give them a retainer, you know that whenever there's a communication that must come out, it yeah. will come out. There's a team of people who are working on my stuff. When I need changes to something, they, they are just all ready. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and they are also listening. They are also watching on my behalf. And so, so companies can't do that themselves? You can't can. have people within the company they itself? They can, but yeah. will you have the most talented person? Can the agency attract the most talented person? Or can you attract the most uh, talented per- at per- people at doing that? Because you find that now when you leave a marketing agency, there's a chance for you to go work directly in the company and yeah. do what you are doing at the because agency they keep poaching inside. people from the they try they try but the agencies have to try and make sure that they have the most talented people yeah. and then they keep them as a world working machine so as a company now you'd have to create a department that would almost rival them if you have one or two you're trying but you're not really yeah, you're going not. to replace an agency I'm out here. It's like I, it's not like I don't like agencies. <laughs> you know, it's just like it just doesn't make sense sometimes. When our end user, maybe you have an idea for something really, really dope. Yeah. It's like so far apart. And also, um, you know, there's a lot of egos that goes on, especially in the Botswana context, and that like we're such a small community of people. Mm. You know, if you move from this ad agency, and you, move, for example, you know. I, I had like a really, really um, strong relationship with Orange when I was coming up as a kid. And then that meant like B Mobile and Orange wouldn't hire me. And Moscow wouldn't hire me. And this was made clear by the ad agency guy, Hori. No, we don't fuck with this nigga because he's so orange. Mm. You know what I mean? But at the mm. end of it all, mm. it's like, mm. who are you to make that decision? Mm. You see what I mean about this gatekeeping thing that then, and it's my head. I'm like, all right. Are you God? <laughs> so they be turning themselves into like some little demigod within the business. So how are you able to maneuver that after having been in there? Because right now, I, I really like where you're moving with it. Mm. But like, how, how are you able to survive that nonsense? Because I think it's nonsense. Well, it's life, man. Yeah. It's egos wherever we go. I mean, I'm, I'm in the agency and I'm looking at their social media and I'm like, the social media is is poor that what they're mm. doing is 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 not up to scratch because i'm studying the leaders in the world like yeah. stephen bartlett and what yeah. he did and so i'm asking them questions about the social media and they're like hey man just go sit in your corner here's a brief to your design yeah and go home and all that stuff and yeah. so uh, yeah so i i thought i can i can give them a little challenge but at the end of the day i i'm not interested in creating a big organization. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested in what I can do. Yeah. Maybe one or two people to assist, but yeah. not not a huge big agency where I have to, you know, rent out a building and all that stuff. No, no, no. I, I'm going to move away from this thing because now it's making me feel bad. <laughs> when did you learn how to cook? When did I learn how to cook? Um, my cooking journey started about three years ago, four years ago, something like that. Almost coincides with the group. Um, and I, I, I was terrible. If you go look at my first picture, you didn't delete them. No, nah, no, nah, why? People no. delete them when they're yeah, moving but it's on not to my like page. a next phase. It's, it's not my page. It's eh. the commun. It's the the group. Eh. So with the group, I, I ain't got to do it. 
I mean, uh, yeah, if it's your page and you have some sort of growth and you don't yeah, want... Yeah, you, you don't know, want people seeing yeah, your Yeah, so you life can archive that stuff. But in the group, just search my stuff. The first dish I made shows you how far I have come. Yeah. I mean, um, even for me, when I look back, I'm like, wow, I've, I'm really... You come a long I'm way. Moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I've come a long way and I'm moving forward. And I'm far from where... I, I, I want to go. There's a lot to do. And that's what excites me. There's just so much to do. But right now, it's all about building. Yeah, so, yeah, quick question for you. Though. For me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here quick question. question. <laughs> so, do you cook, though? You said you said a little bit, but do you cook? I have to think about this properly. I can boil some rice and some pasta. Okay. Uh, and I can I can fry some chicken. Okay. Um, I can make some stew. Uh-huh. Um I'm not the best cook. Okay, rate yourself. Ah! Out, 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 out of 10. Baby, wait, rate me as far as my cooking. I think... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Is that a three? <laughs> no, it's worse than that. Right, don't, cool. don't, worry, don't, worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No. And <sighs> no but okay, about three, that's over 10. Yeah. My dad won't eat my shit. <laughs> Your dad won't eat your shit. Yeah. Well, well hey man, it's all about. I'm. Mean, you're. You're a busy guy. I understand, man. No, it's no excuse. I really wish. I don't even know why I got on foodies. Was because this was like my cheap way of trying to get ah, better. Okay. So when I got onto the page, it was like for me to learn how to get better at yeah. cooking and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. For now, I'm really, really getting better. Like I'm really better than I was before. That's what it's all 3. about. Three point five. That's what it's all Damn. about. So. <laughs> So now, what's your favorite food, uh, or dish, or food? Palichi, bokobe bale roti and and mukwechep. Those are your favorites. It's the ones I buy the most. Okay, but your fa- I want your favorite. Like I'm okay, your, your dream, <laughs> your dream is- dish, your dream dish. Like I want to taste this, or or something that you cannot have regularly but you love. Either or. Something you haven't God. tasted that you want to, or something that you you have, but it's not something you can go to the shop and find. All right, so this is gonna be weird. When we're doing like um, this idols tour and shit, like back in the day, uh, we were traveling all across the continent and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was a bunch of white people. So they got me into eating five course meals, blah, blah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey. and the soups. Yeah. You know, um, no, I I can't I when I grew up, soups, well, not because my family was doing it, but like, why is it one of my stone? Only to learn that it's minestrone. Mm, you know mm, what I mean? Mm, so, mm, mm. soups, yeah, I love a good soup, right? Err, so, right. I don't know if. So so can you can you make a soup or you you're still you're getting there you're getting I there. haven't I haven't gotten you're, close you're to it. You're getting there. I can make there. gravy and yeah, I've. It can. I'm bad, man. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, I was, I was, I was. It's because I paid attention. I'm like, okay, I want to make a soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you learn, okay, soup. It's not about the packet. It's about all these <laughs> other things. <laughs> no, you don't. no, when you learn, when you learn that these packets and these convenience products yeah. are shortcuts. They're not the real deal. And mm. in order to make a shortcut. Yeah, there's a sacrifice. These, you lose something from getting a packet of soup as opposed to making. A soup a from soup. scratch because yeah. you've got to make the stock yeah. um you know and that that stock cube that's a that's a that's a shortcut mm. it's not even real stock mm. once you have real stock you will know that i've been missing that's out what i'm saying i've been missing out on so much yeah because yeah. it blew my mind away there were there was butternut there was like it was so more five course me and i think she always laughs at me like <laughs> when are we having five course meals nigga? it's like you start with the soup, and not even the bread, like the soup itself. Yeah. Um, it's not filling. You can get onto the next one, get onto the next one, get onto the next one. It was just a fascinating way to eat. I'd never experienced um, stuff like that because small portions. Small portions, yeah. but everything just does the trick. Yeah. You know, and, and I started like realizing, well, okay, cool. I don't, I don't. Look at food this way, which is why, like my 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 most go to meal is yona bokor balerots and mukwechi because it's I don't delicious. know no better. <laughs> del- that's delicious food though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But can you cook bokor ja, ja, ja I know how to get the lerots out of the thing, my man. I'm, I can't. I can't. 
because we have like a bunch of lorotsi uh, uh, things go 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 marking one run as well and my mom you know she, she likes it as well so it's one of those things and then she keeps it in like a ziploc mm -hmm. and then puts it in the freezer so every single time when she needs to take it and then put it into bohobe i don't know if that's the way to that do it that is the way that is the way i mean like ogasku it when it comes to people's traditional food hore is this the only way to do a certain thing we we were having noodles and kasani we shared like an Airbnb with some Chinese people, mm -hmm. and then we didn't, we couldn't get food at the spa, so there wasn't like a lot of food. So we yeah, went yeah. and bought like some. She she loves noodles. Ah, okay. And then she uh, she asked you what? Um, are you putting all of the spices in all? In she was doing. Ah, okay. Can't think yeah. two minute noodles. Okay. But it was still delicious. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that's what I'm saying about like how interesting food is. It's like for Batuba and Batuku, this one thing, it means a certain thing to them. Rona, maybe we might do it differently, but like, you know, Bang Baba thing about Madila. You know, some people put different things. Mm. Let me take it back to you. How do you know you're doing the right thing on your video? Um because I study it. And yeah. because I've seen, if you see like a hundred people doing something a certain way, then, or, 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 or different ways, but there's a string of similarity, yeah. you yeah. know that this is the way. Because there's, mm. people have been doing these things for thousands of years. Yes. There's, there's information, there's cookbooks. The cookbooks are transforming into websites and videos and whatnot. Yeah. And so, um, you know, obviously you, you study this thing. Or yeah. if you're not going to study it, I mean, you can just look at one or two and, and you can try. That's yeah. why I make recipe videos and I simplify them. I, try, I, I work on them, I learn them, do them a couple of times or some of them I've done hundreds of times and then I try to simplify it and also talk about it in a way that's, that someone living next to me could, could understand because, because there's a difference. I mean, yeah. when you talk about stock, um, here in I Botswana. love the stock videos, by the way. Yeah, you know, and um, the broth ones as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember you really like that. Yeah, I love those. So ones. with the stock, stock is a, for everyone is a cube that yeah. you buy at the shop. Mm. But like I just said, that's a shortcut. It's not again. the real. It's not real stock. You want to tell me what about our new stock was not the stock? <laughs> No, I mean like and that was the best time of our lives. So yeah. what are these guys doing? They're like preservatives. I don't know. I won't pretend to know. But hey. when I look at the back, I do not see beef. Hey. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah. And when I make it, I can see the, the I, I I boil this thing for 16 hours. Yeah. And I'm getting all that juice and all that goodness out of the bones. And I can see the fat droplets the little droplets on the on top of the thing i can see that this is wholesome yeah i put some carrots in there yeah i put some onions in there yeah i put some some herbs in there so i can i can tell that this is good this, this is, is dope, much yeah. better than than the shortcut hey. yeah so it's just like it's about where you are so also if i just rely on the information near me and around me without making an effort mm. then i won't go very far and yeah. that's why the internet is such a blessing yeah because now i can connect with anyone yeah. everywhere all over the world yeah which is you know what i'm trying to really do i'm trying to i want to be universal i don't want to be stuck in a small little corner of Mulepulul. Hey, so I in I'm, I also I, I want to get into honor how then you know with with the brands that now you associate with, that you, you know you are able to like grow in this this way. I mean, a lot of people call themselves content producers in Botswana. Other people just feel what is just a bunch of kids getting naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This. It's something completely different. It's something that some of us look at and then we appreciate what all right, someone knows how to you know, grow. As far as Rebona Tidiko States, Rebona Tidiko, South Africa, the food is here, Botswana. It's really like a South Africa. Definitely. Um how 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 are you able to, to, to keep growing in this way though? How how do you think I mean this article wasn't that long time ago. It's listed two thousand and twenty three. Where it said 270. You're telling me 301 um, members. Well, I, want to I think that was a week ago. A week ago. Or, or, or a week and a half. So, <laughs> how? 
how are you able to like keep so right now it's just that we are fortunate and we are blessed that we are in the favor of the algorithm the facebook algorithm facebook is facebook tell me about that shit though us. your algorithm because there was someone i saw on like some youtube channel abu awonore it was 21 savage mm. um the rapper and abu for atlanta rappers find a way to get along with the algorithm yeah youtube mm. so because you know girls will get in the car and the first thing that they'll play yeah, 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 yeah. how do you finish the algorithm you study it first but i've i've studied it so much i can boil it down to like one sentence Please. right you, you have to know its objective and if you give it what it wants it gives you what you want okay so what every single algorithm wants no matter what platform it is all of them it wants people to stay on the platform okay so if you help keep people on the platform it'll give you what you want it'll give you growth it'll give you engagement it'll give you reach all of those things mm. so let's go to instagram mm. instagram wants to keep people on the platform so if you create content that keeps people interested mm. keeps people watching keep make someone save so that they can come back yeah, come yeah. make someone share so that now there's more than one person looking at this thing yeah if you can create that content then the algorithm will reward you and hey. it's just like that and then when you know that that instagram's goals are to push reels because mm. they're trying to compete with tiktok it's the new thing that they're pushing now yeah hey. so they can put extra reach onto reels so you yeah. jump into reels you're like i'm gonna make reels now i'm gonna make a reel a day yeah. if you can yeah. whatever it is so it's just at the end of the day if you make good content yeah. that, so that's that's how do you make content that people want to share people look at people get engaged people share mm. save you make good content yeah so if you sit down and you think about the different ways i mean they've done it everyone's done it people have done it yeah. that's why you have comedians doing their thing making these videos round after round after round after round because that's what the algorithm wants yeah. people are watching and therefore you get the reach so with this group um with this group we noticed that facebook has a, a small dilemma where um iphone has started uh, asking people if they would like to you know not let Facebook be able to see some of their data. Ooh. And so when when you when you when you press yes, they are losing a lot of data and if they I mean data that they use for advertising to make their advertisings more accurate. Yeah. And so when the advertisers realize that our ads are slightly less accurate, mm. there's they're spending less yeah. on and that's why we saw Facebook losing money. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why guys want to fight now. So now, <laughs> what does Facebook want to do? Facebook has to find another way to get around this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I figured out that groups were one of the ways that Facebook could get around this thing because mm -hmm. one of the things is okay, uh there's Kenneth Middleton on social media. Yeah. But he has hidden his data. We don't know what he's like. Because and we'll check out Kenneth or Rumu group but you just see what he does on the group No only. let's just say I've just just my my per, my my profile my uh -huh. personal profile yeah. now because I've I've chosen the option for you not to see for Facebook not to be able to collect my data yeah. they can't categorize me as well as they used to in terms of my interests uh -huh. so that's whether I'm into food and what not or I'm into cars or I'm into this and I'm into that yeah. so when you're in a group that's 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 the data that they need mm -hmm. because if you're in a food group then surely that means you're interested in food so they can get around the whole problem yeah. that they had with 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 so it's all about data collection so, so that means that groups are useful to facebook and then mm. you see facebook rolling out um tools for for us who make these groups yeah. and you realize ah they care about these groups mm -hmm. they have an interest in these groups so you double down yeah. and 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 right now the group is doing so well it it keeps people engaged mm -hmm. it's meaningful it's useful and so the, the algorithm is spreading us all across southern yeah. africa i hope you caught that because <laughs> like i think a lot of us run away from groups because it feels like it's work like 
Because some people, then they want to do business on these social media platforms, but at the same time, they don't want to do enough to, to like actually get working. Because group or you have to... Groups is a lot of work. Mm, paying attention to what's going on on the group. Yes. Uh, and also protect other members from other members. It gets tougher and tougher the bigger yeah. the group is right now. Um, you need a team or you keep it loose and then you end up with what other groups have right now where the, you know people are just doing whatever they I want nearly name dropped you know <coughs> and i i almost did but i'm trying not to but you I see saw that. so that's the difference we're trying to make i mean instead of having a group where yeah. everyone's just dropping things that they're selling mm. and then the groups becomes you don't want to check the group it. why do you want to check the group because people are just selling stuff in the group yeah. all the time so 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 let's 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 go away from that let's just have a, a more controlled environment Let's take away. So that means approving every single post. Mm. That's big. Yeah, that's 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 a lot of because effort. it doesn't get on if the uh, the administration doesn't say yes. Yes, but that means you have to. I have to check my. You phone. have to be there all the I time. Have to check my phone all the time. You want to be I want to get into you and real chefs. Mm-hmm. How's that relationship going? Well. I don't. I don't even consider myself a chef. I Look mean, at our one. What did they consider you as? I, uh, do you? How do you guys vibe? Uh, <laughs> you, you're gonna. You're gonna stir up some <laughs> some stuff. But anyway, uh, I'll put it this way. What, so, what like, do you consider yourself as? A co- just a content creator, and uh, not a chef. Nah, because I, I respect chefs so much. Sh- sh- the the chef. Um, world is mm. so far from what yeah. i'm living and what i'm doing <laughs> a chef by the way leaving uh, culinary school doesn't make you a chef mm. um the, the word chef has been confused with someone who just cooks oh by the way we have a chef in the house so these niggas are going to keep laughing like this while we talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and every time they call him chef i i look hey, cause, I, I look because because people call me chef and I mm. can't tell them, no, don't call me chef. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you were saying, Papa. Hey. Yeah. So, so chef, a chef is someone who's running the kitchen yeah. of a restaurant. You know what I mean? And running like you don't you don't necessarily have to be there cooking, doing all you're cutting all the onions or yeah. whatever, whatever. You've done that. Yeah. You've moved on from that phase. You, there's a levels to this shit. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. If you watch this, this thing called Bear, this uh, thing on, on I don't know which which uh, streaming platform, but it's a, a great series. Yeah. Now we still watching. about garden, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so 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 I don't consider myself a chef. People call me chef. I can't tell them to stop calling me chef. Mm. Mm, and but the word means more to me than than I than I can explain to everybody. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Awesome stuff, man. Uh, just to digress a little bit, I want to ask you for your your you know your top five uh, BW content creators according to Kenneth Middleton. Mm. Okay. In 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 order from five to number one. Sheesh, I haven't. Because like we actually value your opinion on what being a content um, creator is. Because I think that's what like Banaba Tropo, well Babuzwana as well as every other place is like. People are still getting confused about like how you can actually monetize this and make it a business. So I'm thinking, who you know, if, who we can pay attention to. If only I had. Sat down and thought about it. No, off the just, top. I want off I'm the just top. Just thinking off the top. I, yeah. I, it will definitely be inaccurate. So okay. let that be a disclaimer, right? All right. Um, William is definitely in the list. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it a top five. And, hey, let's make it scrambled up. Let yeah. Me, so yeah, it's just a group that, yeah. of five. Okay, a group of five people who you think are killing it yeah. and doing it the right way. Yeah. Where they will ultimately get exponential growth. Yeah. Yeah. So William is doing it, and he's go. I, I, I can see he's going through a phase now where he's trying to figure out mm. how to um, how to change a bit, you know, how to, how to evolve, how to evolve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So that's that's that. But he's good, uh, and he's creating content. He's making videos every other day. That's what it's all about. He's one of those people who's figured it out, though. Like you know this algorithm thing, because I hear people talk about it, mm. but until you broke it down. Mm. It didn't make any sense or how, but like William is like, he's right there with mm. it. But that's the thing. You don't even have to understand 
so much or be so articulate about the, the algorithm. Yeah. Just knowing that if I put up a good video, uh, four, four good videos a week, mm. I grew. One of mm. them went viral. You, 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 you want to chase that again. So yeah. you can do it without necessarily trying to be all technical about it. Yeah. So that's one, right? Um, but my, my gripe is that a lot of other people aren't necessarily content creators they're, 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 I don't know how to they're say it, naked. but they're living outside of, <laughs> outside. I wish artists, I wish artists understood how useful being a content, I wish they would all turn and say, look, I'm going to be a content creator, Yeah. right? Because it, it doesn't mean they change their life of being an artist. It just enhances the whole thing. Yeah. Did you know that the UFC is a content creating is a com- is a content creating company. Yes, sir. That's how they g- they get the money. They mm. the a show is is content. Mm. The fight is content. So the build more up. fights. I saw the build ups as well. The fight. More now, fights you get. Conor McGregor is coaching people, so they even have like a whole. That whole business that is whole a content bi- creation business. That's yeah. what it's all about. The yeah. fights sit somewhere within that. Yeah. Within that thing. There's a fight somewhere in there. <laughs> yes. So yeah. it, and then you want to own the old archives of whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. WWE is a content creation company. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if you're an artist, and instead of only thinking that um, maybe just my music is the only content that I make, there's definitely you, you're not you're not uh, taking advantage of 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 all these tools the that you have. Yeah. Yes. So, um, where at my wheeler? <laughs> Gotta give me another nigga. Uh, who else is out there? King, I, King. There's a lot out there and I, I'm just not, imp- I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Um, <laughs> but I don't, I, I, I definitely don't want to, you know, be okay, that, I don't want to be that water. guy. I don't want to be that guy. But anyway, um, I'm trying. I just wish, I wish I I had thought about this before. I, I'm I, sorry, I man. Like some of these things, I need to spring up on you. You don't have any scandals in the streets. This yeah. Is <laughs> so you know, a lot of people. There's got to be someone else, Ken. In Ow. in Botswana. See, that's the thing. I be watching the whole world. I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> if you said the world. We'd be done by now. We'd be on to the next question. You know what I mean? Okay, but what do you now, think they're getting wrong? Well, a lot of our people here. What do you think they're getting wrong about being... Because the influencer market seems to be growing. Um, I had to quote hmm. to be an influencer. My nigga. And I called Deep Sea and I told him what I'd quoted because we were on the same like um, a campaign and whatever. Sure. That nigga laughed at me. Because mm. I didn't know the game. Like yeah. how... It's a thing. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I'm only quoting because I'm thinking, come on, man, it's a tweet. <laughs> it's a Facebook post. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was way below the radar, way below, enough for the actual marketing nigga to start disrespecting me a little bit, you know, and I felt like, yo, this is not really my core business. Like you're saying, mm. now v, an artist v, is something V's else. in the top five, but carry on. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, hey, you're still a, thinking yeah, yeah. so it's two of them so now, V. What do you think we're getting wrong as far as what we're trying to achieve as far as being the influencer I think what are we getting wrong on our pages what can we do to better the situation because you're having a hard time giving me five yeah so i'm not going to pretend like i got all the answers mm. but at the end of the day i feel sorry for a lot of people who would, who are or who want to do content creation in Botswana yeah because it's it's such a such a difficult environment for you to actually you know make it Profitable, or for for it to become your 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 work, your mm, job, core business, yeah. nine to five, whatever. Yeah. Um, s- because I- things just don't work out. There's a lot of uh, disadvantages mm. to being able to get there. But at the end of the day, so that's that's those are the things that I'm dealing with. Yeah. Like how do I how do I make sure that I can get brand deals mm. when all the 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 bi- the companies that I would work with naturally yeah. are in South Africa, yeah, yeah. and their budgets are for South Africa. They're mm. not for Botswana yeah. necessarily, not all the time. Yeah. And so I've lost the deal because I'm in Botswana. Like they call, they, yeah. Like I, I've I've taken, I, I've taken my numbers off my Instagram yeah. so that you can't tell just by looking at it that okay he's in Botswana. Yeah. So they send me an email, 
But now I have to explain that, look, yeah, I'm yes. down to do the job, no problem, no problem. But I must mention, because they have to send me a product. Mm. You know what I mean? They have yeah, to send yeah, me or a the product. location. Yeah. So now Ooh. when I say Botswana, it's like, ah, oh, it's not going to work out. Sorry. Oh. I've lost a couple of those, not just one, a couple. So with me, it's about thinking about how do I make sure that I can still work on these things? And it, it, some of them work out, not all of them. Mm. So it's much less. So I'm looking at, Instagram, I'm looking at TikTok and I'm seeing content creators, they got the brand deals every day, every oh, week. We had a homie so coming So many too. brand deals and I'm just sitting here and I'm making free content. I'm just I'm just grinding because my whole thing is growth. Mm. So if I can grow and become big enough, then maybe, you know, things can loosen up for me a little bit. Yeah. Or I can also think about traveling a little bit instead yeah. of just pl- being in one place all the time. I think you should do that. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely considering, you know, being able to be in two places at one time yeah. and whatever. Because Linda, I didn't I tell you guys about like how guys have to hide to be like you can't tell people you're from here. You yeah. know, especially if you're trying to do business in South Africa. For some reason, I think it becomes a disadvantage mm. for for a lot of BW people and like this is um, a unique example also. Mm. Or like they find out how you live by having to send you an extra product that you have to push. And we have so many amazing content pre- uh, uh, producers in Botswana. I've seen some. Mm-hmm. It's just that they're not consistent, like how you you know manage your pages and how you're able to like grow like that, you know. So I always feel bad for them in that like, but then you get frustrated. It's just like with the music. It's like you, you become a big ass fish in a small pond. Mm-hmm. They like using that analogy. I, do, I don't like it at all, but it's true. You become a big a fish in a small pond. I'm still waiting for three. Three. Now I'm thinking Gotta about TikTok and, uh, and and oh, you said Mampizi. Yeah, I said Mampizi. So he's on there. He's number two mm-hmm. because he's a content creator. Mm-hmm. You will notice that he thinks about how to create content. The he's not. Piece, yeah. He's not gonna just make music. Yeah. Yeah, he's thinking about making funny videos for you so that he can keep on the top of mind. Yeah, he's yeah. he's working with his lady on whatever. He's making videos. He knows that some of this stuff. I'm gonna put it out. I'm gonna get something back another way. Yeah, yeah. He's not always just you know, and so he's he's a content creator. I, I always. That. He was the last person I'd ever imagine on a list like this, mm. because at first when this Facebook stuff was starting, this nigga was just on some ah yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then he's one of those guys who, when he realizes something is on fire, he's going live all the time. And then he learns it, yeah, and yeah. then he gets better and better and better yeah, at it. Yeah. And but don't don't get him twisted. He's actually learning how other people are moving. You gotta give me more, Papa. Like I'm, mm. like off the top of the head, I'm sure you can think of someone off the top of the head. Because um, I was gonna ask you for five chefs as well, but like now, okay. five chefs. If we go international, no problem. Okay, I mean. let's do the influencers locally and then we do top five chefs internationally. You got to give me three more names of people that you think something could happen here if they position themselves properly so that they can be able to get like some some big brand endorsements. Okay, man. there's um, Diamond. Uh, oh, the, the the family, Alma Diamond. Alma Diamond. Yeah. Definitely she's on to something, definitely. Yeah, her and her husband um, are on something else, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're working hard too. You see, for, me it's, for me, it's not just about how funny you are, but also how how are you working it? Are you making a, are you able to be funny? Uh, you know, you when make, yeah, 20 videos and then you 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 rock in them and mm. consistency yeah. that is that is that's when it's a job it's yeah. not just a pastime uh-huh. you know what i mean yeah. um so that's why i can't pick just anyone because yeah. some of them they go to work and then at uh, after work they make a video mm. and so i can't really say they are <laughs> no, at least we got three out we yeah. got three out yeah. Maybe at the end while we're going on they'll, you might they'll give keep me coming, two. okay worry. i want top 5 chefs top 5 and, chefs um, yeah Top five chefs. Ah, come on. This is way too easy. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, number one, the guy, the 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 uncle, uncle Gordon Ramsay, okay, number one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I wouldn't put it down to, to his cooking skills per se. It's yeah. more about the personality yeah. and the content that he's been creating and how he has positioned himself inside our psyche and inside the industry. He so, was in Durban the other day. Yeah, yeah. Because I haven't experienced his food. Yeah. And I know that on, on, on socials, they dumb down 
Because you see, he's got five star restaurants mm. and he's got Michelin star restaurants, yeah. right? So he's not making a Michelin star recipe for you on YouTube or wherever. Yeah. He's making a dumbed down version so that you can make it at home, mm. whatever he's making. And sometimes, sometimes you can feel like I can do better than that. You know what I mean? So anyway, so he's number one, yeah, not not because of his chefery, but because of his personality and who he is, what space he occupies. Yes, sir. Uh, in 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 our time. Awesome. Um, number two, Jamie. I, I, I don't. I'm just. I'm mentioning him. I'm not putting him Put on the list. list. I'm I'm mentioning him that he is an inspiration, but he's not in my top five. Right? Why not? I just feel he's just too. I feel like he's basic. <laughs> no, not not that he ain't good. He's also got good restaurants and he's and done good great hair. cooking and he's done great cooking and whatnot. <laughs> But I, 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 okay, because he's against, because his biggest rival is Gordon, yeah. I've chosen Gordon. Okay, so that's, that's what it is. Okay. Um, Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay, go him. This is some guy, I think he won uh, Hell's Kitchen or one of these big competitions he okay. won, right? Boom, he did it. I'll check him out. Um, and, and, he, and he was a rock star about it. He, yeah. was, he, he was no regular guy. Yeah. So anyway, that's, that's one. And then number two, there's a guy who was in MasterChef, but he transitioned to being a content creator. Mm-hmm. Um, Nick D. Giovanni. Okay. That's my guy. Yeah. That's um, your fourth person there? That's my fourth. Yes. No, Jamie's not on the list. You put him as a god. Okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> Jamie's Overseer. not on the list. Okay. Jamie's not on the list. <laughs> He's Jamie, the father. Jamie's okay. Jamie's not on the list. <laughs> then there is, um, now I've forgotten his name, but he was a judge on MasterChef. He's the Asian guy. The Asian guy, why are you Australia? Yeah, yeah. I wish yeah. I could remember his name, but that's my guy, though. But well, he was always really huh? dope. Like, none of them You guys yate. don't do this thing where, uh, get on, pull it up, pull it up. Uh, no, I'll try to pull it up. I'll try to pull <laughs> it up. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at that shit. Yeah. So there's there's him while, you, while you're looking for it. Yes, sir. Um, the last one will have to be... Um, sheesh. Think about it, Papa. It's not coming to me. Cause I, I, Where's the internet, guys? I usually wish I could <laughs> think about these things in advance. There's no internet. There's no internet. No, it's, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> you, Anthony Bourdain? Anthony, no, no, no. Ah, there's another one. See, I always get their names wrong because it's not about their names for hey, me. It's about what they're doing. It's, technique. Yeah, it's... Um, Bethel, Chef Bethel, something. Ugh, this is, this is uh, embarrassing. I should know his name, but um, I, I haven't really. His name is is also difficult to kind of think. Um, you, you're gonna have to connect to something. It's not. Here, 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 here. Oh, why? It won't be. Hmm? Um, I want to talk about you and hip hop. Okay. What is your relationship with hip hop? I love hip hop. Hip hop. Is the first music that I love. <laughs> it's the first music that I could listen to. Yeah. It's the first music that I could recognize the skills required to become effective in it. Definitely. Papa. And so, I'm not a rapper, but uh, I, I saw you on that video. Which one? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I put on hip hop when I'm doing my stuff. Yeah. I take inspiration from hip hop uh, artists doing their thing. So I love hip hop. It's one of my favorite. One of my favorite music genres. Obviously. Uh, Variety is the spice of life, so I like so many things. I, I can't have enough. a favorite. Yeah, yeah. O- October seventh, um, you have something lined up. Um, I don't know if you're still doing it, and what um, this will be seeing foodies go out into into the world. Mobatu Mona. I don't know. Have you ever done um, like f- events where people see? the branding of foodies and all the people that you work with and even the members come through or oh, this will be a first um gabona is tagged i forget what the name is it's called the good food the market good food the market. good food market is it yes. happening it's Get happening seven. on the 7th of october hey. at malapa crossing yeah. it's going to be our first uh and we hope hopefully we'll be able to do several of them okay um it'll be the first time i we have an opportunity for the foodies to you know showcase their food in real life. It's the the professional It's the members of the group. It's the members of the group, but it's also the wider community. I'm I'm trying to curate a space where 
you can go and find interesting foods to eat that yeah. that wouldn't be a regular thing. So we'll have 16 stalls. I'm hoping you come over there and you, you're going to leave there with a food experience that yeah. you can remember. And you will come back because you can't experience it all in one go. And we're going to keep changing it from now and now and whenever. Yes. And so I like the fact that for the first time, a lot of foodies will be there. Like yeah. I've, I've, I've picked up on them by looking at, the, at their, their, their submissions on the group. And there are some who stick out in my mind. So I call them, can you come do something here? And some of them are going to be there. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait. I mean, it's going to be something for me to experience too, you know? Where are some of those people who make that pop? <laughs> some of the pop during the White Star Challenge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of the pop. Do people even eat like that? Like, oh, why do you guys do allow interest? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, no, no. Palichin one. They can make like shapes and stuff. Like, what do you mean? How, do you mean? how is creativity? When is creativity too much? It's very easy to go <laughs> overboard. <laughs> can I've seen very, one make like easy. one like a lizard. Oh, but how do? So you've done white star. You've done lucky star. Um, right now, you're currently doing another challenge. Yeah, we're doing a Delhi Bites pizza challenge. A Delhi Bites a pizza challenge one as well. Um, so, with all of these things, are these the people that you intend on having come through? Because you've had some winners as well. Mm. I've seen you given out some prizes. Mm, mm. Um, are these people going to be out there showing their skills as well? And it's open up to all of the public. It's a bit different, you know, winning a challenge on our group doesn't necessarily mean that you can hold it down in a stall. Hey. There's a certain level of, of work that you would have to do at a stall. You'd yeah. have to have the mindset, the equipment mm. to be able to deliver the food, like, you know, to people passing by who need, who yeah. are buying the food. So it's not the same as just cooking a dish at your house. Okay. So uh, definitely, they, then it's not a one for one thing. If you know what I mean. Awesome stuff. We thought, um, I also, what did I want to ask you also here? Stop looking at my page, <laughs> man. You don't have any questions left, right? I have. I'm just, just trying me. to find the right place to put them. No, just okay, drop it. You've been asking me about top fives. So now, oh Lord. here's one for you. Fuck. Who are the top five people that, okay, let me, top three people you would like to interview. And it doesn't have to be, you know, so local. Just let it, let it, let it be the... The wider, the widest community you can think of. Damn. Top three biggest guests you would love to have on on your podcast. Julius Malema. Julius, that's a nice one. Uh, because I'm from Olepole, like you. Yeah, yeah. And this Tebe Patwa uh, Air Force. Yeah, yeah. It scares the Jesus out of me. I'm just trying to think. It's like, how can we get along? Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. We're next to each other. Mm. He's an amazing mind. I met a couple of entertainers back in the day in South Africa mm. who told me in advance, like, yo, stop, don't downplay this man. He's mm. a genius, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, our president, Rem mm-hmm. Um, You see how I'm political about a lot of stuff because <coughs> politics runs the world. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. But I've seen, like, the difference that he's made as far as, like, there's a lot more ambitious young people than we had in that other last 10 years especially in my sector okay. entertainment and um all of this like you know and wh- and where the fuck steve harvey is you know <laughs> uh, what else three i've interviewed ian kama mm-hmm. uh who else man let's go outside of politics outside just of just politics, to make it ah uh, just to make it interesting oh Give me a second. Uh, who though? <laughs> who? Kanye West. <laughs> that that's no, that'll I'm, be number one on my list. Kanye West. I would want to talk to Kanye, but like he had his bum out on a yacht in Italy. You know like by, by mistake like, or whatever. No, it looked like he was getting hit, man. No, come on. But like, I, hey, those are uh, Kanye. Um, Kanye, uh, Dr. Masisi, and uh, and Julius Malema. Because the thing I just think the politics is all about power. I mean, we just realized what happened. These things matter, you mm. know. Mm. Um, mm. As much as and, and we've interviewed people here on the podcast, Bozani and Bo Mamkizi, about why they are so heavily involved in politics. Mm. It's because politics makes things go. And if you don't at least pay attention to them, 
it doesn't mean you have to be involved in them, but just pay attention to what's going on. We are around the corner from um, the elections now, so you know I'm thinking we should pay more attention to what's going on. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna have to. Sh- you have, you are done with your questions, I get. Now I'm just trying to figure out where to slot them. You know? No, we <laughs> have to, we gotta shut it down. Are you sure? Give me, hit me. Okay, so here's another one. Um, so I was going to ask, like, where do you see your podcast going? But I guess the first question kind of touches that. But then I've also been having a few of my own thoughts. Like, yes, I love the name Budicast, right? Yes, sir. But I wanted to ask you, have you ever considered that it's a bit, it might be, might be a bit limiting in that some people won't understand what that means? I mean, like, yeah. <clears throat> it's a podcast now. Yeah. Go out of Botswana, go to Nigeria. Can, yeah. Will they understand that? Um, and all those things. Yeah. I, 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 we, just well, a thought. It was. I thought. I thought about that. Mm. But then when we got on Facebook and started making like the, the the names and stuff, and we realized like we were the only podcast on 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 Facebook, and then there was. I think it's a Turkish channel. Mm-hmm. It means something in can I get take can I get some some country in one in different language. So podcast means something. Just like Pula, I guess means the JJ in mm-hmm. other countries. You know, with us here, that and <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know why Frost the song blew up. <laughs> People in Czech Republic thought he was talking about vagina. <laughs> Pula. So with us. I'm just happy about when all the podcast word is there, but you know, I don't care anymore. Can my brother? These days, I just think like it's our product, and then we're just gonna throw it at them. So the real question, I guess, behind that is: mm. Are you saying that you're only trying to, uh, 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 you know, target Botswana as no. a, as as an audience? No, 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 no. Right now. It's baby steps. Um, God willing, we we ultimately gonna get bigger with this thing, and and not only just have interviews. You know, like this is actually where we're trying to go with it. Mm-hmm. Conversation with people that we really think are, are are interesting and can help us help young people in Botswana to become better than what they can be, especially the the roads less traveled. That's a lot of young Botswana. It's not only Botswana in Gaborone. Across the whole country, so like with, I wanted to help Botswana first, mm. but then I wanted to be entertaining to the rest of the world. Ma. Oh, and the PODI means people of different identities. It's a clothing label that we had back in the day, and um, you know we had to fire some niggas from that shit, <laughs> and now you know we're cool. Yeah. And <laughs> Yeah, I I'm was not going to get you involved in I this I was just thinking, I it's, that's an acronym, and then the Pudi, acronym, yeah. Pudi being the GOAT, the which goat, is the Setswana language, yeah. and then there's other languages and what. But anyway. And it's my favorite meat you. also. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's yeah. delicious. It's delicious. Yeah. So, follow up, and this is my last one. Yes, right? sir. So, um, I've, I've been wondering why you didn't make your own channel, and you made uh, you, you put your podcast on, 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 on camera. <laughs> All right. So collaboration is is something that I've been thinking about for 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 some time now. In that, like, you have to be fully invested in something with people. You know, I want them to know as local corner that I'm committed to this. And what better way than to do that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. At the end of the day, everyone can tell you, and I have no interest in having a a, a YouTube channel because, like you say, my core business is music. What well, I but at the same time, with content production, they are my partners in that. Let's just be fully invested, you know. So it was about um, a show of faith to the people that I'm working with because I don't think Laurel trusted me. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> it's because, like, people think, like, collaboration is you have to, you have to give something up. Yeah, yeah. You know, ultimately. So it's... It's about growth, and a lot of us more more beat up. I don't know. Would you ever collaborate with anyone? Because you're doing so well by yourself. I mean, collaboration. You're shooting it. You are editing it. And you know, collaborations like, are very good. But 
I mean, it's about your goals. I mean, at the yeah. end of the day, I'm trying to, I'm trying to amass, oh. you know, a followership, right? I'm trying to amass a followership, and yeah. so if I work with, if I collaborate with someone, that the, the goal there has to be a goal. Mm-hmm. One of the goals is when I work with another content creator, with the hope that, you know, some of our our, our followers can kind of blend a yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing with music when. Dr. Dre and Eminem work together. Yeah. That's a collaboration. Yeah. And so yeah, whatever. Mm. So so yeah. So I I haven't had a chance to work with you know you know a, cl- a collaboration with someone who has some sort of expertise that I don't have, or some sort of uh, equipment that yeah. I don't have and whatnot. But I'm definitely down for that kind of thing. Awesome. Yeah yeah. Is Woolworths buying the Gota? I'm waiting for them to contact me. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to contact. What, but anyway, so what comes into these ideas though? Like uh, your private school quarter. That mm. shit looked delicious, man. It was. It hey, was. so how how do you come up with that? I mean, in closing as well, because like your story doesn't end here. It's always gonna get bigger and better. I wanna know when we're like. The quarter challenge as well, like that's really really awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you how did you get into that? And is that you trying to coerce brands into working, or you know, or banaba ukwe kumfunya na dog? Like teach them some. Yeah, robots. yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just having fun with it. I mean, I mean, there was there was there was a little talk about quarters for some time yeah. and because of the KFC came out with a quarter. Mm. They did. Yeah, yeah, in South Africa, not here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so, you know, there was some talk about how it looks nothing like the advertisement. <laughs> and so the pop doesn't taste any, but like yeah. sometimes it does. Yeah, and so there was a big talk about that. Most and times. then there was a talk about a gentleman who says, I proposed such a thing to you guys several years ago. Yeah. And, um, and then, yeah, so... He was on Mac G even yeah, via yeah. phone, and then he was like, they were like, so Saul asked him, you know, Saul asked the question, so yeah. he was like, so how much do you want them to give you? And he was like, uh, <laughs> for what the, the recipe? Yeah, well, no, <laughs> not for the recipe. He mentioned very clearly, it's about the strategy. It's not about the recipe. You can yeah, put yeah. this stuff together. Anyone can put this stuff together. <laughs> it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. But now it's about the strategy of 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 you know, being able to tap into a little bit of culture mm. for a brand and, yeah. and how to make it effective and make it work and, and to avoid some sort of uh, pushback from, from Community, communities yeah, and yeah. whatnot. So anyway, so he was like, no, I think he said five million. And I was, so, yeah. so I was <laughs> no, I, maybe 20, I don't, I, I can't remember. But at the end of the day, Bonzo. for the concept, okay. for the strategy. <laughs> okay, and it's, a, it's serious work, this. Yeah. This is advertising <laughs> stuff. So so I was just having fun with that whole situation. Yeah. And um uh so I was just inspired. So I said, Okay, he did the KFC one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Nando's. <laughs> I'm gonna do chicken licking. I'm gonna do all of them yeah. so that and then the joke is if they ever try to do it, yeah, then I'm gonna yeah, I gotta call you. Then boy. I'm gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Then I'm gonna be like, Yeah, yeah, I did this five years ago, so yeah. you owe me type of thing. But it's all a joke. It's, it's nothing serious at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. I'm going forward. I think I've been saying I'm wrapping it up. I think it's the gin. Where's the bottle, <laughs> baby? Can I show the bottle? Yeah, no, I shouldn't show the bottle. It's like really like. Have you seen gin like this before? Shout out, bartender. Um, in 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 closing, your future plans, Papa. Yeah, um, yeah. What are you intending on 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 doing? And um, I I think I had another question before that, but I just want to talk about like going forward mm-hmm. because you know. This is uncharted ground as far as like what you do and what a lot of young people are doing nowadays in BW as far as social media is concerned because there's no jobs here, you know. So what are your plans? Are you going to employ people? I don't know. If it happens, it happens. But if I was to create a media company, that would work. But I mean, to get to that place, you have to have certain, yeah. you know. But anyway, my thing is just growth. Yeah. Growth on my channels, on my pages, Growth on all these things because I, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, um, and I I wish I could you know bridge a few gaps, being able to work with, you know the brands. So it's the weird. But you thing. are though. You yeah, know? I am. I but am. that's what's crazy is that like Oscar ba dog. Like that's one of the biggest reasons that like, you're here. Yeah, it's like I think you can shed some light to us 
to also young people out there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not like you're not you, you. You are getting it right. Yeah. So okay, I I do I do have a couple of these these brand partnerships, mm. but um. I've got so many different platforms and so many different ways to work with them. Maybe just one is working nicely or to my satisfaction right yes, now. Yes. And I just wish my other channels could also, you know, be able to, because then I would be making, you know, Hello, more, you <laughs> know what I mean? So do you give your sister uh, money? Because she, I think she taught you how to cook. Which your sister? older sister. Um, my, she's my younger sister. Men, They're all younger. You be telling her, at, but what about Sandra. Anyway? Yeah. Why do yeah. I think she's older? No, because she she has no. She, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I understand. I get it. I get. It. And no, I'm I, two years younger than me. That's not even a difference. But I really think she taught you, like, because taught her me meals what? are amazing, dog. Huh? I gotta be looking at her meals, though. No, she's good. She's always what been, a good. Okay, she's she's great. She's amazing. Okay, and okay. Rappel, she comes into the page highly, highly. Okay, Ring. okay, okay, okay. She, like hit us with a young. She is amazing, and she's one of my inspirations. But yeah. we never had a chance to sit down and, <laughs> you know. and put it together, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome stuff. Um, I think that's the end of our show. Uh, unless you have another. Oh, Philips Electronics. Yeah, yeah. How did that happen? That was my first brand deal ever. I mm. mean, in, on my pages and not inside the community hey, hey. um stuff? well that was a bit of luck i mean <laughs> <laughs> no honestly because philips is looking to do a worldwide campaign hey. and so they're trying to find influencers in different countries yeah so they they've got the ones out south africa they're not going to make me compete with them and the funny thing is i only had i only had six thousand followers when At the i time. got that one yeah yeah and that's that's a year um, ago. I want to talk a about year and a half. Borne, these companies. Awesome. Now I'm wrapping it up for real. Okay. These um, brands, they know we want to work with a lot of them. Like you say, are based in South Africa. Um, do you email them or do you call them? Do you do you bypass the ones that are here, the office that's here? You know, there's a lot of them. Clothing stores, music stores, um, pharmacies. You know, you can't get the head offices here. What do you would you advise? Would you advise like someone who I check in um the 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 the, the home branch first and then maybe look on a or you know just go just go to SA and and propose your your, your deal because I think gatekeeping I think you in is not allowing us to 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 grow. What I wanna for example, eg like a test stick. Hmm. They know if they advertise on, on E, E TV, mm. they got Botswana covered. They don't even have to go check BTV. Mm. So when you are like our small little um, companies, Nyan, do I try to find an office here, artistic, or for sec, like you're about check it out. Um, so there's no, t there's definitely no testic office. Just to be a bit technical, <laughs> there's, 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 there's maybe there's, and there's no Unilever. Unilever has several brands and that fits under there, yeah. but they have uh, companies which are distributed. How would I there. know? But my point is, my point is, my point is that I'm not good at, you know, the whole communicating thing, mm. proposals and whatnot. I'm, I'm lucky enough that people are contacting me. Mm. So I'm trying to be as good as I can that people contact me. Hey. I'm trying to attract, but I do reach out mm. once in a while. Yeah. It's just that uh, the rejection hurts me so much. <laughs> I send an email and I don't get a response. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm trying to make so I'm trying to make this good contact, this content so good that I make a big enough buzz that people call me. Yeah. And also I'm I, I'm lucky that my platform works. I don't know if it was intentional or subliminal or yeah. you know subconscious or whatever. Yeah. Because my 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 content, it's easy to fit a brand right there. Yeah. I'm yeah. making food. Yeah. So food brands just fit right in. It's just so easy, mm. it's seamless. Yeah. So I'm lucky in that in that regard. But I, if I think about the fact that if I was to find an office here, mm. and then how many people does this communication have to go through till it gets to the decision maker who and that's the thing when i worked in an agency i realized and i'm sure a lot of organizations are like this when you have an idea and you're trying to get it up 
to 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 become to real yeah. it can be your word it can be gate kept mm. so many different places that means i don't want these guys i want the, top. the people you're so, selling to a eh? so if i can get tastic's marketing manager to follow me on instagram That's i'm okay. done yeah. i'm done she will con- they will contact she will tell her agency mm. please call this guy yeah uh, i would like him to do something for me because I'm making food content and she eats food. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the key word is fire content. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. And uh, we really appreciate you being here, Papa. I really didn't think we'd be here this long. Wait. How long has it been? It's been a while. How long? Oh, one hour, 30 minutes. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers, man. Cheers, and I Papa. was telling you, I never talked to anybody for... For over stuff. two hours. Yeah, and I'm not that much of a talkative guy. This thing is working. This thing is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Before I forget, Blue Crystal. Okay. Hey, let's talk about health and stuff. It's a little bit... Yeah, no, I about brown sugar, white sugar. There's no difference. They're putting a bit of molasses on white sugar to make brown sugar. Yeah. But there is a brown sugar. I, 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 I'm fat as hell. Like, I'm really trying to... Like my... I. <laughs> I think there is real brown sugar somewhere, mm. but w- as far as I know, what we have is white sugar that has been what colorized. Give me oh snap! Just molasses, molasses. Yeah, but it's, molasses is 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 a natural thing. So it's, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but right. that's what I think. That's what I think, unless I'm wrong. But that's what I th- that's what I know for now. Awesome stuff, Papa. We'll see you on October seventh. But what? Yeah. yeah okay. No, go ahead. What's that got to do with the brand you mentioned? It's got nothing to do with No, that. Blue Crystal um, has... Um, needing, oh, when you were doing a, a partnership with them. Yeah, it's got um, nothing to do with brands. No, no, brown no. sugar, white sugar has got nothing no, to do like with brands. Exactly. Well, brown sugar is being produced by a local Yeah, uh, so we, I don't understand. Okay, anyway. There's no link. It's gin. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely no connection. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Papa. You've been absolutely awesome. Like, Urubute Ngondo. I love it. Thank you so much. And then next time, we'll be eating food. Ari, he couldn't bring food because it meant cooking it here. I don't know if you want to break it down how you broke it. It's like he would rather have food that's served there and then you eat it there instead of having it and packaging it it away. So, how do I fit a stove in this room? No, there's small onion stoves I use like that. Yes, now it's you tell me. No, but, <laughs> smoke, yeah, but the thing is, there's smoke detectors and whatnot here. Hey. Yeah. But the point is that <laughs> I believe the best case scenario for eating food yeah. is for you to get it right after it was cooked and then eat it. When yeah. you put it into a scuff tin or whatever in the fridge to away. work or whatever, there's a certain value which is lost. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be that guy. So yes, I, I also don't believe in delivery. I believe you should have the food right there. You should, it yeah. should be served for you and then you eat it. That's the best way. Yeah. The food tastes the best and you have the best experience. So I couldn't figure out how to bring food here. I was going to bring a, I was going to, br- I was going to bring some Wagyu steaks and hey. some, and some, st- ah! no, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and some salts because there's Sorry. a salt product that That's I'm working that. on. Oh. <laughs> What were you, Nima? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. I was. I was thinking about it, right? I was thinking about it. So anyway, I was gonna bring you some wagyu and some salts, some different flavored salts, yeah. which is a product that I'm working on. Yeah. Um, coffee salt. Does it help against gout? I don't. All right. It's coffee Maybe salts. the opposite. No. Um, yeah. So it's different flavors of salt. Some mm. habanero salt, uh, lemon garlic salt, and then I was gonna, you know, have you dip them. But if we could figure out a way, we are going to do it. But anyway, two. don't worry. Yeah, yeah. No, October seventh. Time to wrap it up, Papa. Um, Kagorata blend the Kenneth with Squid. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, hanging out with the rest of us here, at local corner. Shout out to bartender for the. Yeah, I did the job. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun, and uh, yo. It's been fun. We'll check you guys out next week. And uh, thank you for, 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 for supporting the channel. Keep supporting it and uh, keep subscribing. Peace.